Big thanks to Tokit for sponsoring this video. This is probably the most requested video of the past month. Pitmaster, give me some side dishes. And of course, I'm gonna give you exactly what you're asking for. I'm gonna give you three recipes, but these three recipes are not recipes that are standing on their own. They're recipes that you can build out to many different levels and many different types of dishes. We're gonna go from Mexican style side dishes to European style side dishes all the way to American style dishes. So everybody is gonna get what they want, but especially you. And at the end of this video, you're gonna be able to make it. It's, it's super, super easy. But to make it even more easy, I teamed up with Tokit. This thing is insane and makes everything super, super easy. I wanna focus all of my time on cooking all of the most beautiful cuts of meat on the barbecue. I wanna get them absolutely perfect. Nice smoke ring, big crust, juicy on the inside. And for that, I need all my attention to be on the barbecue. And of course, if I got dinner guests coming, I wanna serve some side dishes to go with that. But I want that to be as easy as possible without losing quality. So that's why I like to use smart kitchen equipment. And the Tokit is a perfect example of that. This thing does so many things. It weighs your food, it chops your food, it cooks your food, it does everything. But the insane thing is that there are thousands of recipes already inside this machine. There are videos that tell you exactly what to do, step-by-step -step manuals, and it's guiding you through the whole cooking process. Now let's start cooking so I can give you the side dishes that you came for. Let's start with actually cooking our side dish number one, the Mexican salsa. I'm gonna put some butter in my Tokit Omni cooker. To that I'm going to add some paprika powder, some onion powder, some salt and some pepper. Then I'm gonna to go to the individual functions and set it to steam. I'm gonna let it run at a temperature of 100 degrees and stir it at the same time at the lowest speed. What I'm looking for is that the butter is going to melt and at the same time it's going to start slowly frying the ingredients, unleashing their aromas. In the meantime, I'm going to be grilling some vegetables on my barbecue. I got some onions, some garlic, some paprikas, chili pepper and tomatoes. Once I got a nice char to them, I'm going to peel the paprika and deseed it. Then I'm going to add all of the ingredients into the tow kit and I'm going to set it to chop for 30 seconds at a speed of four and a half. Mmm, that is one tasty salsa. Ooh, there comes the heat. <laughs> but this in itself is a side dish, but there are so many things you can do with it. For instance, make a delicious chicken salsa casserole. Just a couple of chicken fillets, some salsa, some cheese, 20 minutes in the oven at a temperature of 220 degrees Celsius, and it looks like this. And that dish is so amazing. And that may be even a recipe for two or a side dish for eight. Or you could just throw some chili oil on a hot cast iron plate, put a tortilla on, add some grilled chicken, add the salsa, and then you end up with something like this. And of course, there's just a simple version. Take some nacho chips and add your salsa to it. And that's how you create three easy recipes out of just one salsa recipe. It's so easy to do. You know, cooking isn't hard. But it's fantastic. Now we're going to do a more traditional side dish. Something you can make yourself for Christmas, for instance, or a more classic roast dish on the side. I'm talking about mashed potatoes. First step, of course, is peeling the potatoes. Then I'm gonna quarter them, put them in my steaming basket and, and place that in the toket. Add water and then let it steam for 30 minutes. After you're done steaming and the potatoes are fully cooked, I'm gonna put in an onion, chop that fine, then add a lump of butter, add parsley to it, let that stew for five minutes, then put the potatoes back in, then grind the potatoes down until you have mashed potatoes. Now well, look at that texture. This is super creamy mashed potatoes. Mm. Wow, it's just mashed potatoes, but it's a freaking delicious mashed potatoes. And you see how easy that is? Cooking and grinding. That is something beautiful when it's combined together. But what can you do with those mashed potatoes? Let me show you. You could make a version of potato croquettes. 
by creating these little turds of mashed potatoes on a sheet of baking paper. Then place them in a hot oven or, in my case, in the barbecue and let them crispen up on the outside. We're looking for a temperature of around 250 degrees Celsius because all we need is the outside to get crunchy. Or you could just serve this as regular mashed potatoes and you're going to get applause for that. But if you want to go extra special, you could use this as a topping for your casserole. Just make your favorite casserole stuffing. Put the mashed potato on top, some cheese on top, slide that into the barbecue, let it sit for 20 minutes, and then you get another beautiful side dish, which can also serve like the main star if it's just the two of you. Mm. That is a good side dish. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have this for dinner. This is amazing. I got this amazing, kind of like spaghetti style sauce underneath in the casserole. Wow. I can come up with so many more ideas to use this potato mash in, but I'm not going to because somebody's hungry and wants to eat. We're gonna go to stuffing. I'm gonna show you the best stuffing recipe you've ever had. The first step is to start steaming some pumpkin. I'm gonna put my steaming basket in the tow kit, add the pumpkin, add some water, and let it steam. When the pumpkin is fully cooked, I'm taking it out of the tow kit. Then I'm gonna add some olive oil, garlic, parsley, chestnuts, mushrooms, bacon, and then I'm going to set the toke to stew. Once everything is fully cooked, I'm going to add two loaves of bread and the pumpkin. Then I'm gonna give it a quick mix, and here is the end result. This is a real autumn winter style stuffing. Mm. You can serve this as it is on the side and it's gonna be perfect for any Christmas dish. But of course it looks a little bit, well, not very spectacular. So let me show you what else you can do with it. They told me that you were cooking side dishes I'm and, and then I'm, I'm here waiting. Yes. And I, I come in the studio to sit here, eat delicious food, and, and this is it. So you judge me? This is a vegan burger. So, so you judge me? This is a vegan burger. So you judge me yeah. without even yeah. having yeah. tasted it. Why don't you give it a try? Then judge me. All right. This is kind of delicious. Yeah, but now you can't have it. Oh, oh, oh. what are you doing? No, 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 no. Mm. Are you keeping it? This is gonna definitely be here. We're definitely gonna be using it a lot. Whoa, dude, a this more. is a trick. You were like getting me off the machine no, no, no. and going straight for the kill. I had so much fun cooking on the tow kit. What do you think of it? I'm the most lazy cook there is. I would definitely have this in my kitchen. There isn't, there isn't really a reason to not have this. Look, Yeah. this function yeah. is pre-cleaning. Yeah. This whole thing washes itself. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the side dish video. Oh, and they got a giveaway. So check out the link down below. So Toke is doing a giveaway for Christmas. So check that out. Make sure you go to their website and uh, the link's down below also where you can buy these things. They're can I play? I'm, I'm just a normal guy. Come on, comment down below if you think I deserve this to fight. Yeah, we wanna know. Do you think Morrison deserves, after trolling me, trolling me, does he still deserve the thing? Or should we say no Morrison? Because so, I, they want it too now, huh? Tell us. Tell us. Goodbye. Cheers.